I officially think I have found my long-term fishing partner. Yesterday, me and Hunter fished a small local tournament on my home lake. Today, we are on another one of my home lakes. That's an hour from where I grew up, and we are fishing another tournament. It, everything is shut down right now. Everybody's in quarantine. There's almost no big fishing tournaments, but this one right here supposedly is going to have 50 plus boats in it. I mean, I'm at the ramp now, and there's a ton, and we still got an hour for blast off. So there's definitely a ton of boats here. So got to go pay our money. Go catch them. Should be a shad spawn. That dang white Punisher Untamed Tackle Swim Jig is going to get a play, some play today. There's no doubt. Hopefully going to catch 20-something pounds on it. We'll see. Probably going to take in the mid-20s to win this thing. Could take anywhere all the way up to 27, 28 pounds. Could take as low as 22 or 23. So getting that mid-20 range, we'll have a chance. Let's get out there. So just a little swim. I guess we'll keep him for the hell of it. Gosh, Gosh a freaking decent one too. Should I even keep this one? That would be what the boys call a knock a cow. That's exactly what they would call it. The boys say or the kids? Both. The kid boys. Dude, them live wheels smell terrible. You smell them when I open it? I don't think he's big enough. 14. 13. It's a small step in the right direction. We should have started in here. I also contemplated that. I think about a lot of stuff though. There's a chance I did make the best decisions I could have made. 
if all my other decisions might not would have cost nothing. Dang, I'm about to drive them back in the wood. three sixes. When he was jumping out there, he looked a little bigger than this, didn't he? When he was jumping out there, he looked like a three-pounder. But he ain't. You got one? Is it a big one? No. Yep. God, what, what if I thought that was me colored? That's our smallest now. Yeah. That one's got to go. And we'll put this one over here. And spotted dog over here. You're channel channeling your inner coin. Throw to the front while he's coming. I'm trying to help us. No, I, I know. You're a partner, not a co -in. <clears throat> Not a three pounder.
those two little what? Where? No. I wasn't planning on it. See how that one I couldn't get off the bottom? Oh, like, you see how hard it was for me to get him to the top? Son of a gun. Big. Big enough for that. Gives no check or nothing, but he's good. Happy to have him. Here, Are they shrinking on us? Okay, so me and Hunter, this is a different day. We just went to Lake Follow the other day and I didn't make an outro because to be honest with you, I was kind of pissed that I only caught 15 and a half pounds on Lake Eufaula. It's a lake I've spent a ton of time on and it's, it's you know, early-ish April. I should have caught them really good shallow. It just did not work out. We did have the bikes to have a pretty good bag. We had the bikes to probably have around 20. It just didn't work out for us. I don't know exactly what won the tournament, but you know, we ran a lot of history and that's kind of a bad thing to do. Uh, we really were kind of spinning our wheels early to get a grip on what was happening. And that's why we only caught 15 and a half pounds on Lake Eufaula in April. Cause I mean, it's a super good lake. 15 pounds there is like absolutely nothing, but I have not been to the lake in three years. Literally the last time I fished that lake was in like mid 2017. Haven't been back in a long time. I had no idea what was going on. Didn't know where the shad spawn would be. Didn't know where any bed fish were. Nothing. I was just running around trying to be as efficient as I could. And I got pretty frustrated and it just didn't work out. But anyways, me and Hunter did have a fun time down there fishing. Caught a bunch of fish. Got to see some alligators. It was a fun day all in all. Just very, very disappointed with the result because I... I mean, 15 pounds on you file in April is not very good at all. But hey... I, the best you can do sometimes is, is that, so that's how it ended up being. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a like, give a comment, tell Hunter good job for keeping up with the tournament she's been going, and she has been, I mean, fishing all day, catching some fish. Pretty impressive. And anyways, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because the videos are about to start coming every other day, big time. Now that we have finally found ourselves in some tournaments, it's time to tell y'all about the sponsor of this video, Top Fishing Deals is a sponsor of this video. Basically, what Top Fishing Deals is, they are a online website that has all, I guess I've heard it called like a Slick Deals. I've personally never been to Slick Deals, but I've heard it called this like a Slick Deals. So basically, all the, you know, sale items at all the other websites that you know about, every single website that has items on sale or on clearance, Top Fishing Deals has those listed on their website. So you go to Top Fishing Deals and you see all the sales outdoor related equipment it's not just fishing they got boots and clothes all kinds of stuff at top fishing deals so go check out top fishing deals for the best prices and all the brands you already know you don't have to go and uh you know take any kind of a hit on brand or stuff like that it's the brands you already want for the best prices topfishingdeals.com check the link in the description